Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com for all your glider supplies. In this video, I want to look at how to connect a Flarm to one of the S-Series Varios. As we can see on the screen, we have no GPS data with the stop, no data, slash zero. And we still have a latitude and longitude of east 15 degrees, which is nowhere near North America. So I do have a Flarm connected to this. We have from the Flarm RJ45 port the Flarm S80 cable, and that S80 GPS cable is then plugged or connected into the GPS port on the back of the S80. To configure this, we want to go to our setup menu and hardware. Once we're in hardware, we want to go to the Flarm item. So on the hardware menu, we can see that the Flarm item is grayed out here might not be as visible on the video as it is in real life, but this flarm line is gray compared to the bright white of NMEA test, which means we have some sort of a communication issue. It's not sensing the flarm. So the first thing to do, usually when it's a communication issue, is it has to do with baud rates. So we come up here to the COM menu, and we look in here, and automatic baud rate detection is usually a good thing. I happen to know on the GPS port that we're looking for 19,200. That's the standard for the Flarm. So we'll set that to 19,200 on our GPS port. Now that I've set the GPS baud rate to the same as the Flarm, we're going to back out of the COM menu. We'll go back down here. It can take a little bit of time. It can take a couple minutes before the Vario recognizes the Flarm is there and starts receiving sentences. One other thing we can look at is this NMEA test. If we go in here, we can click on this and we can see what kind of data we are receiving. So on the GPS report, we can see we are receiving our uh, GGA, RMC, and FLAU. Those are FLARM information. So the top two, those are the GPS information, and that's the FLARM. It's a little difficult to see the coloring on here, but these four are red, that one's red, and these three are green. So we'll back out of here, and now we'll go to FLARM, and within FLARM, We'll go onto the info menu and we can see that we have firmware version 7.03. We have our Flarm ID, our serial number 532. If you've watched any of my Flarm Fusion videos, you'll see that's the same serial number that was in those videos. Back out of here, we can go into config and we can set all of the ranges here that will update the Flarm. If we change anything here, it will update the Flarm config file. Aircraft configuration, glider with our ICAO address. So all the configuration can be done here. And the flight recorder, record interval set to two seconds. And exit. Flarm connected, we now have a Flarm page. Up at the top here, we have FLM representing Flarm. And so that's an additional mode or page. We can scroll sideways. We have WPT for waypoint our TSK for task, our setup, our information, and our Flarm. So that's a new mode or page that's been inserted automatically as soon as we connected the Flarm. So this is our Flarm radar page. We have all the Flarm information on this page. The yellow TX slash zero tells us that the Flarm is working. We have Flarm ID we're receiving, its distance, its whether it's above or below us, and its climb rate. If we go over to the waypoint page now, one thing we can see that's different is that we have this red ring, and that's the airspace. Now that the Flarm is connected and it knows where it is, we can see that red airspace ring. When we're in this moving map page, the bottom knob becomes a zoom knob. We can see over here that we have five miles set, so I can change this zoom, and what we can see are the various airspace zones around the area. We can also see the blue dots representing the waypoints that we loaded previously. So on our waypoint page, we can change zoom and on our task page the same way using our lower right knob. If there was any traffic flying by, we would see it on this page in the map view. Another thing we should look at for the Flarm is we should go into our setup and into graphics. And in here, 
we have Flarm Graphics. And what we want is we want to take a look at the colorings that we can put on for the various gliders. A glider that's above us will show up as blue on the map. A glider that's below us as green. A glider that's near us within about 200 or 300 feet vertically will show up as red. I like this color scheme. It's easy to remember. Blue is above me like the sky. Green is below me like the grass. And red is danger. We can label who it is or what their climb rate is. So we can see that on the moving map display. Active timeout at 15 seconds means that once the flarm in your plane loses signal from the flarm in another plane, it will still show that plane on your moving map for 15 seconds. After that, it will start to flash on the map and it will continue to flash in the last known position for 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, then it will disappear from your map. Hopefully you've learned something about the S-Series of Varios today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below or send me an email. And visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.